Welcome everyone to yet another edition of Be Inspired, a show that is meant to talk about ICT legendaries, people who have continuously had an influence to the ICT world with me, Ashabahewa Irina. Welcome to Be Inspired. Today we are going to talk about another father of the internet, aside from Bob Khan, the friend who was working with Bob Khan to come up with the invention of the internet. And who is called Vinton Saf is also known as the father of the internet in relation to Bob Khan. He was born on the 23rd of June in 1943 in New Haven. is a son to Muren Gray and Vinton Hudson Saf. Vinton attended Van Nuys High School with John Postel and Steve Crocasef and worked on Rocket Dime while in high school. That is the Apollo program and helped to write statistical analysis software for non-destructive tests. Saf received a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics at Stanford University. After college, he worked at IBM as a system engineer for two years. Vinton left IBM to attend graduate school at ULCA, that is the University of California in Los Angeles, where he earned himself a master's degree and his PhD in the, in the 1972. Vinton studied under Gerard Estrin and worked in Professor Leonard's data packet networking group that connected two modes of the upper level. While at UCLA, Saf met Bob Kahn, who was working with the UpperNet internet architecture. Saf wrote the first TCP protocol called Specification of Internet Transmission Control Program, published in December 1974. Vinton worked as an assistant professor at Stanford University from 1972 to 1976 where he researched about the packet network of internet. Vinton later worked with the United States Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, that is the DAPA, from 1973 to 1982, and funded different groups to develop the TCP or the IP, packet radio, packet satellite, and packet technology. In 1980, Saf moved to MCI where he developed the first commercial email system to be connected to the internet. Saf is an active member in a number of humanitarian organizations. As Vice President of MCI Digital Information Services, led engineering MCI Mail, the first commercial email services to be connected to the internet in 1986. Vinton joined Bob Kahn at the Corporation for National Research Initiatives as its vice president, working with Kahn on digital libraries, knowledge robots, and gigabyte speed networks. Saf later engaged in privatization of the internet. Him, Saf, and very many others founded the Internet Society to provide leadership in education, policy, and standards related to the internet. Saf served as the first vice president of the ICOS, that is the Internet Society, rejoined the MCI during the 1994 and served senior vice president of technology strategy, where he helped to guide corporate strategy development from a technical perspective. He had previously served as the vice president MCI, leading a team to architects and engineers to design advanced network framework. Vinton joined the board of trustees of Gallivet University, a university from education of the deaf and hard of hearing people. He served on the university's board of associates and currently staff works on the board of advisors for scientists and engineers for America an organization focused on promoting sound science in the American government. He received the Living Legend Medal from the Library of Congress in April 2000 
expanded much in 2020 that is currently suffering from the that he had tested positive for COVID-19. He announced the news via a tweet in which he also criticized President Donald Trump for the way he was handling the COVID-19 pandemic in the United States of America. He later on was treated and he confirmed that he was no longer contagious. That has been it for Vinton Sun. What do we learn from Vinton Saf? Vinton Saf was selfless. He was a very selfless person because he associated very many people to work with him. He did not want to achieve alone. He had people he was influencing and the more you become influential to one person or two people, it is the more you are going to achieve. Success is not measured in the amount of money you have or the kind of riches or the assets you have, but the influence you have on people, the impact that you are having on people. Currently, his work is paying off because over and over again, people are using the internet. You and me are using the internet, so the other friends are using the internet, and that is the influence that we do have on our society. This teaches us to be passionate, selfless. You invite something to help someone, regardless of the, of the, of the attachments of things associated to it. That has been me, Ashanae, for me, and it has been the inspired a show that is meant to talk about people who have consciously had an influence for the ICT world. Thank you, until next time, on the